okay so let's talk about dimension analysis so what is this guy called dimension analysis so when we talk of dimension analysis we are dealing with the units actually okay so now we are going to be given uh, the formula then they tell to say what are the dimension analysis of maybe anything which they are going to give you basically we are talking about the units when we talk of dimension analysis okay so for example if um, we have been given to say uh, energy is given by m c squared we know that this formula we use it to do what to calculate the energy of the photon okay so now if they ask us to say what are the units of e we know that the units of uh, e is just basically joules but now we want to use dimension analysis we see if it's going to give us what joules okay so we know that m when we talk of m m is just basically what the mass okay then c is just basically what when we talk of c we're talking of what we're talking of the velocity so the units for e we know that when we talk of mass SI unit is kgs when we talk of velocity SI unit is meters per second now we are using the SI unit the standard SI unit of um, the the dimensions which we are dealing with so like in this case the mass the SI unit we are, we are not going to use grams no because the standard SI unit of mass is kgs so we're going to use kgs and meters per second so then I'll go there and say I want to find the units for E so I'll say E is going to be equal to my mass this is my mass right yes M so it is kgs so I'll put kgs there times what of um, what of velocity velocity is meters per second squared oh sorry meters per second now it is squared I need to square it okay so if I square it, it's the same as it's going to be my energy is going to be kgs m squared then I have this squared so this is the same as kgs meters squared seconds negative 2 now that negative 2 is just is the same as pay it's the same as it is here I put kgs meters squared over s squared now I don't want to put this over then I'll just shift that one to the uh, to the top then it's going to be negative 2 so these are the units of what e now this kg meter squared s to the power negative 2 is the same as 1 joule okay so that is dimension analysis so they're going to give you anything then they ask you to say what are the units of um, maybe k you are going to be given any equation okay so now let's say maybe we have something like this let's say we have uh, we have f we have g m1 m2 divided by r1 you are going to see this one and um, when you start the centripetal okay so now if they ask her to say what are the units of g how can we find the units of g okay now these guys are going to give us these other guys so we know that force actually force you know it already they're not going to give you but force is mass times acceleration then it's going to be force is going to be our mass is what okay in short when we're talking of dimension analysis we are using the basics basics units now these basic unit they are not derived when we talk of derived if we we say force is uh, the SI unit of force is eh? newton but this newton is a combination of what eh? mass and acceleration so mass on its own is a what is a basic quantity okay so then we are going now to split this one this uh, force as what eh? mass times acceleration so we know that mass is kg and acceleration is meters per second squared meaning this is the guy which we are going to put where here so we are going to have k 
kgs meter is the same as i say divided by what s squared oh yeah it's the same right yeah then i don't know g m is mass so we've got kgs so mass is in kgs so we're going to have kgs times kgs again then r is radius it's going to be in meters so it's going to be anyway let me put squared there this now is going to be meters squared okay so now as we can see i can do cross multiply here I can do this guy times that one is going to be k g m to the power three. That one is going to be g k g squared. Then I've got s squared. I want to solve for g. I'll divide both sides by k g squared s squared. Both sides by k g squared s squared. Then I'll have my g going to be equal to k g m to the power 3 over k g squared s squared now when you reach here as you can see on top there this g will go we are going to remain with one, 1 kg there m is going to remain the same so we are going to have m to the power 3 divided by what k g s to the power 2 now that one which we have there that one which we have there is the same as g is going to be given by m to the power 3 then kg less to the power negative 1 s less to the power negative 2 so these are the s unit of g okay they are simple you need just to follow the simple simple principles okay so now what if maybe we have been given the um, uh, the electric field so the electric field is given by the formula k and k is constant q1 the magnitude of q2 then we have mm, the radius squared now let's find the units of what of k so basically we know that force is going to be or uh, f is going sometimes they can give you as a newton so let's say maybe that we have been given as a newton but in most cases we are going to be using force as a since force is going to be mass times acceleration is going to be kgs times what times um m s to the power negative 2 then what of q q is basically a charge so it is in coulomb so it's going to be coulomb it's the same right then that one is going to be again radius m let's see now there let's find k so k is going to be given by f r squared divided by q1 q2 so it's going to be k our f is kg m s to the power 2 times m squared we square it m then k is kg or is coulomb cum so it's going to be coulomb squared then it's going to be k is going to be given by this m squared and m just m is going to be k g then we have m to the power 2 s to the power negative 2 over c squared so if you want you can put c squared on top then it's going to be k mc s to the power 2 just like this so these are the units of k as you can see if you want to see something very important there as you can see we know that uh, this kg times mass times acceleration squared this is just basically newtons so we can we can also see there that uh, this cages then one mass here and uh, this guy is going to give us what is going to give us mm, the newton okay so if we get the newton then it's the same as uh, we're going to have uh, but that is the answer if you want to continue you just say since we have found that uh, our k is kg we have found that meters squared s to the power 2 then coulomb to the power 2 okay so now <coughs> if we can check properly we know that force is mass times acceleration then we have we have force is going to be we know that mass is kg acceleration is meters this so this guy what we have there it's the same as i get kg 
then m s to the power 2 meaning i'm remaining with one m there so what it means is that this one if i get it is going to give me the newton then i can depress it there so that you see so this one is going to be newton so since we have remained with one m there okay although it, it was supposed to be m squared if not if not mistaken it's supposed to be m squared right then you are going to have m then since we have remained with only that guy so these are the uni the units okay that's how we find the what the units so you can have anything then it's possible for you to come up with the what the units okay let's see the next example let's say maybe we have okay let's say maybe we have something like this okay let's say we have been given the formula to say power is work over time and let's say maybe the question says the unit of power the watts may be derived as the rate of doing work express the watts in terms of the base unit of mass length and time so we want to express them we want to express the units of power as in terms of what in terms of the basic quantities which is the mass we have been given the mass the, ma the, the mass which we know that is going to be kgs then we have been given that we should also use length which is going to be meters as well as time which is going to be second so now first we are going to do this we are going to say work is given by force time distance but force as we can see we don't have force there so we also know that force is mass times acceleration okay so we know that uh, mass is kg acceleration is meters per second squared as we can see these guys we have gotten them from the information which we we have been told there okay so distance is also what so we are going to say work is going to be our force is kgs m s to a power negative 2 i've just changed that one then distance is also m okay it's in meters just the same as length then that is what we are going to replace there so if i replace power is given by let's replace cages m s so it's going to be m m is going to be m squared then s to a power negative 2 everything divided by uh, time which is in second okay so it's going to be power we have this one is the same as if maybe we, you are confused this guy uh, is the same as we had we have mm, meters then we have over s squared divided by what s okay so that is what we have so if that is what we have now let's see what's going to happen we have cages m squared over s squared times 1 over s s and s we're going to have s to the power 3 therefore our units for power is going to be p kgs m to the power 2 over s to the power 3 so this one is the same as p is going to be k kg m to the power 2 m to the power negative 3 so these are the units of what eh? power so basically one watt is just basically one kg meter squared or oh, this is s sorry this one is supposed to be this one is squared then s to the power negative three so yeah that is it okay what if maybe we want to solve something else let's say we want to solve we have been given maybe the question which is saying um you have been given the formula to say you have f you have f is going to be k r v where v is the velocity then r is the radius so we know that velocity is meters per second and radius is in meters 
we know also know that force is going to be mass times acceleration which is kgs meter s to the power negative 2 let's find the units of k let's divide both side by rv both side by rv then it's going to be my k is to be f over rv let's replace now the values it's going to be k what is my f my f is k yeah is kg m s to the power negative 2 over my r is m my v is this v velocity is the same as also m s to the power negative 1 so that is also the same as m times uh, then the, the velocity now is also m s to the power negative 1 so again that is the same as that is the same as we have kg meters then we had this squared divided by then we have that one which is meters so meters meters is going to be m squared over s okay so that is what we are going to have mm -hmm. so now let's now we want to to have one guy so we're going to have kgs meters over s squared times s over m squared okay so as we can see we are going to this s is going to go that one we're going to remain with one then that m is going to go we're going to remain with one that one is going to go there we're going to remain with one m then it's going to be k is going to be given by g then s times m this is the same as k it's the same as k is going is going to be given by kg s to the power one m to the power one yeah so those are the units of k so you can think of any formula and we can come up with what the k okay let's say we have speed is going to be distance over time let's find the units of what the speed okay so we know that speed is going to be equal to what uh distance is in which is the same as length meters then time is in second okay i want to find the units of distance so it's going to oh, yes the speed sorry it's going to be s is going to be given by m over s which is same as s m s to the power negative one that is meters meters per second so that is basically dimension analysis let's let's see another example okay let's say maybe we have um what example can i give let's say we have um velocity or let's say we have yeah yeah let's say we have velocity or acceleration it's going to be given by the final or the velocity times time we can come up with the si unit of what is the velocity using the same method which we have just done so that's what we need to understand when you say uh dimension analysis that is what we are supposed to understand nothing more than that